Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the EOFi Cam E. This is a home security kit that includes two wireless cameras that communicates with this little server box that's then connected to the internet. So there's no wires at all, you don't need to plug the cameras into the wall, in fact you just need to charge them once and they will last for an entire year. These are fully waterproof as well, so you can put them outdoors on your porch, even if it's raining or snowing outside, or you can just mount it indoors as well. So the whole wireless concept is pretty cool, but it does come at a steeper cost. This kit with two cameras included sells for $400. If you want one with just one camera, it sells for $280, and you can purchase additional add-on cameras for another $180. Now, what's interesting is EOFi, this company, is actually a sub-brand of Anchor, which you've probably heard of if you shopped on Amazon recently. They make lots of uh, really high-quality but pretty affordable power banks. Definitely a step up compared to many other generic products that you'll find on Amazon. Now, I should point out that this is actually the second wireless camera set that we've checked out. A few months back, we did a review on the Foscam E1. That sells for a little less, but that's because it comes with just one camera in the standard kit, and there's no way to add additional cameras, which means that Anchor solution could be more powerful if you have a larger house or an office where you want to set up multiple cameras. Other features include night vision, so it can even see completely in the dark. It just changes to a black and white image, and you can download a computer Canyon app to monitor everything from your Android or iOS smartphone. It has a 140 degree wide angle lens. Removing the outer packaging, we have another internal box that says, Smile, you're on EOFi Cam. We've got a quick start guide and a sticker that says 24 7 monitoring by EOFi. Then we've got just the two cameras. We've got the magnetic mounting attachments for the cameras. Then we have the main server box, which is wireless and connects your home internet. And then finally, a smaller box that contains the AC power cable for the main server box, which looks like this, along with a micro USB cable that can be used to charge the wireless cameras. A closer look at the design, the cameras are made entirely out of a polycarbonate plastic but has a pretty good weight. We have EUFI security, there's the lens on the front, some LED status lights, a microphone, and the speaker on the very bottom. We've got a soft touch rubber texture that makes it a little bit easier to stand upright without moving around on a flat desk if you don't plan on mounting it magnetically on the side, which simply looks like this with the magnetic kind of adapter that they've included in the box. Otherwise, there is a small rubber flap that needs to be covered up if you plan on using this outdoors and if it's raining. And there's also a sync key that you can tap on when you're first setting it up with the server box. As a quick size comparison, here it is with the aforementioned Foscam E1 wireless camera. So you can see that the dimensions are about the same, but the Foscam is significantly lighter. So it does feel a bit more flimsy in terms of its construction because Anchor is renowned for making excellent power banks. These are actually powered by Anchor rechargeable batteries inside, which uh, technically should be a higher quality and they should also last longer on one charge. Now the server box is uh, actually pretty small. It's a compact size. Here it is next to a six inch phone for size comparison. And we just have an LED status light, some vintage grills, a soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around, there's a loudspeaker on the back, and there's also a sync key that you can tap on once to communicate for the first time between the two cameras. And on the back there is the ethernet cable for wired internet, a dedicated power key, and there's also a micro SD card slot that you can put in a card up to 128 gigabytes. So this box, which is safely in your house, is actually where all of the files, including videos and photos, are saved as opposed to directly on the cameras, which is good because if someone obstructs this or kind of tampers around with it, it doesn't actually delete the files. And there's a USB port that can be used to charge the security cameras, a very thoughtful touch. In fact, this USB port provides fast charging to these cameras, charging them up in under four hours. Now the home base does have 16 gigs of free built-in storage already, so you can use the micro SD card to expand the memory, but there is already a little bit built on in. Furthermore, it also has a built-in 5,200 milliamp hour capacity battery of its own. So if the power goes out in your house, it can still uh, remain turned on and communicating with these cameras to save the files locally onto the SD card. Finally, the connection range between the home server and the two cameras is about 300 feet. Simply connecting the home base to the ethernet and then the phone is connected to the home's network and it's just automatically discovered after which point you can connect the camera just by tapping on the sync key for two seconds and then it will be automatically paired to the wi-fi because the home base is already connected to the internet so it uh, 
doesn't require you to enter any passwords at all. You can set it up in less than three minutes. And we now have a quick tutorial that shows exactly how to mount the camera, uh, the optimal spot about 10 feet up, so it has a 140 degree lens looking downwards. Now, just like the Fast Cam, this is not a pan and tilt camera because there's obviously no motor built on in, so you can't adjust it optically, but there is eight times digital zoom. And because it is a pretty wide angle lens, it should suffice for general purpose surveillance. And we are live, so we're able to see the image down below here. And if we move the camera around here, you can see there's a split second delay, about two to three seconds. Not quite as instantaneous as a camera that's connected directly by ethernet to your home's uh, Wi-Fi, because again, it needs to be wirelessly communicating with the home base, and then the home base then connects to the internet. So there's an additional layer of wireless transmission, so it's slightly more delayed. A closer look at the main interface, we have on the first tab, devices, which is showing a list of all of our cameras. Second, which is gonna show us our events, so any notifications or alarms, which have been triggered, separated by day, and we also have one for settings. So you can select between different modes, one which is at home, that means you can turn off things like sirens, maybe you want to turn off the motion detection because you're around, versus away, where you can turn on the sirens for the cameras as well and begin push notifications and automatic uh, recording of video. So you can change those profiles, simply tap on them to control whenever you're in or out of your house after which point you'll be able to see a live image. I can press to hold to activate the two-way communication. So here's a quick sample. Hello, one, two, three. Hello, one, two, three. So there's a little bit of echo there because we're pretty close to the microphone of the camera, but you can see it works. We can also begin recording the video directly on the app. Again, right now it's simply going to be pushed over to the 16 gigs of built-in storage in the home base. And under additional settings, we're able to turn on or off the infrared mode manually. Tilting our phone to see a larger view, we also have the date and timestamp on the top. We can zoom in and out. Again, this is the digital zoom, which offers eight times. And you can see that it gives us plenty of detail to see text and people faces, things like that. This is a full HD or 1080p resolution camera. Uh, all of the wireless kind of mini security cams that we've seen offer, you know, full HD as opposed to 4K, which would be probably more expensive and also harder to do because everything is wireless. So it takes a lot more bandwidth if you have a really high res camera. You can see that despite being very close, about a feet away from this piece of paper and off angle, it's still able to see it because it is a very wide angle uh, lens. Now the infrared or black and white mode works automatically when it's dim enough. So if we turn off the lights here, after a few seconds, you should be able to see and hear the camera switch to that uh, automatically. Now, right now our second camera, which is in the family room, is already in a darkened environment here at night. So you can see it's already in the kind of IR night vision mode by default here. Uh, but again, it works pretty well. I can still zoom in and make out most of the fine details uh, without too many problems. It still is good enough for, again, identifying people and noticing if there's any, uh, you know, occurrences which are happening. As aforementioned, when motion or sound is detected, it will begin recording a 20-second clip. So let's take a look at some events that's been triggered as a quick test here. So this first one that we can uh, see, it's timestamped and automatically is recorded for you to view back. And here's a sample captured in full color. It uh, offers some slightly better details, but uh, overall it's still very effective, just like the night vision mode, you can still pinch in as well. What's kind of cool is the screenshots, the photos, and the videos that you download are then saved on their phone's gallery. So you can simply hop over there, and there's two new folders, one, one which is called EOFI Pics, one which is called Videos. So here's a sample video, for example, of uh, what the surveillance looks like, again, in the infrared mode. Here's one which is recording kind of the front door footage, and you can see that, again, details can be made out, but uh, you lose some of the pinch and zoom capabilities once it's saved onto your phone's gallery. Good enough for making out, again, the general objects and people as they walk on by. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the EOCAM E wireless uh, security camera kit. All in all, it actually works really well. I think the benefits of having something really wireless is it's super simple to set up, and of course, it now works uh, outdoors. So if you want to put something in your backyard or in your front door, it's a lot easier without having to worry about wires or connecting it to an AC outlet somewhere that becomes just a mess. Yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's at the benefit of having some built-in storage uh, right out of the box, and again, a super easy under five minute installation process. Overall, I think the quality of the videos are also pretty fair, and the battery life is also a strong suit here, which isn't a surprise considering that Anchor specialty is in making power banks and rechargeable batteries. So overall, as far as these wireless security cameras are concerned, I think that this is definitely one of the strongest I've seen in terms of specs as well as real world performance. Just note that like other models, it does not have pan and tilt, and if you want the 
absolute best latency in the world, then you probably still have to turn to wired security cams. But again, those require a more complicated setup, which unless you are working for a corporation or you're using it for a larger business, I think something like this will more than suffice for the average consumer. So if you're trying to learn more details, you can find them in the descriptions below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Anchor EOFi Cam E.